This is Bittle, an open source robot dog by Petoy that's based on the open cat robotic pet framework. If you've ever wanted to build your own robotic quadruped, but have felt overwhelmed by the amount of information and options available, or have been at a loss at where to start, then Bittle is the perfect product for you. So let's get it unpacked and take a look at what's included. It comes in three packages. A base kit that includes all of the parts required to assemble your own robot dog, a pre-assembled kit which is ready to run right out of the box, and a developer kit that includes an extra 10 servos and an extra battery pack. Petoy have sent me their pre-assembled kit to try out and share with you. Included with the base kit is Bittle, along with a battery pack with an integrated charging circuit, and then an accessories kit that includes an infrared remote, a spare servo and some screws, a calibration tool and screwdriver, and a pack of modules that allow communication with Bittle. These include a USB programming module, a Bluetooth module, and a Wi-Fi module. If you've bought the base kit, then you'll need to do some assembly work before you can start using Bittle. I just need to snap the head in place and plug in the battery. The body and components feel like they're really well made and good quality. Part of what makes this robot dog look great and function so well is that they've taken the time to design and manufacture custom parts, like these server arms that perfectly fit the components and also provide a bit of shock absorption. Once assembled, the included infrared remote control allows you to start playing around with some of the core functions of Bittle right away. It'll allow you to walk, run, turn and do a couple of pre-programmed skills using a small infrared receiver on Bittle's back. So let's try get Bittle to stand and move around. Once you've tried out Bittle using the infrared remote, you can either dive right into coding your own skills or you can download the mobile app available for iOS and Android. This unlocks some additional functionality including calibration and customized commands. Either way, you'll need to remove the back cover on the top to get to the control board to plug in one of the communication modules. Under the cover is a custom designed controller called Nowboard. This has an integrated Atmega 328P chip a PCA9685 PWM servo driver, an MPU6050 motion sensor, an infrared sensor, and then a number of ports and interfaces to add sensors and devices to. I really like that they haven't trimmed this board down to only suit the functionality and I.O. that the standard Bittle configuration requires. This leaves you with additional server outputs, I2C interfaces, and digital I.O. ports. This along with the open source software means that you're getting a development platform to learn on, build upon, and explore rather than just a finished product that you'll probably get bored with after a couple of weeks. Part of the fun in building your own quadruped robotic pet is that you never really finish it. There's always something else you can add, tune or modify, and Bittle retains this, being a platform to build upon rather than just a finished product. Coding is best done through the Arduino IDE, and you'll need to use the included communication module to allow your computer to program Bittle. Their documentation is really good and covers everything you may need to do to use and maintain Bittle, as well as documentation and instructions for adding your own skills, sensors and features. If you're not familiar with the Arduino IDE, you can also use Python, or they even have a drag and drop programming interface for beginners. They do mention that even the pre-assembled kit is only coarsely tuned so they recommend running through the calibration process for best results. So I'm going to run through the calibration sequence using the iOS app. To use the app I need to plug in the Bluetooth communication module to allow my phone to communicate with Bittle. 
To help out with the calibration process, I have also 3D printed this stand with the calibration arms built into it. Now that we've got the app opened and paired with Bittle, let's try calibrating the legs. If you head over to calibration mode, the legs will move to their calibration positions, and you can then make the required adjustments to the positions. Course adjustment is made by removing the arm from the servo and aligning it as best you can. Then fine adjustment is done in the app until Bittle's legs are at perfect 90 degree angles, which you can do by aligning the legs with the stand or with the included calibration tool. The stand is also useful for trying out new movements and testing commands without having to worry about where Bittle is going or if it's going to fall off your desk. All of Bittle's components either screw or snap into place, so it's easy to take apart if you need to swap out a servo, change a spring or make changes to the wiring or the control board. You just need a single screwdriver and you're good to go. If you're doing a lot of work on it then you'll want to get a better screwdriver than what's included with the kit, as it's a bit small and cumbersome to work with. Now let's try some customised commands using the app. Bittle has a number of controls and skills that are pre-programmed. These can be set up to run individually or as part of routines using text inputs through the app or the Arduino IDE, so let's try one of them. The code to look or check around is CK, so we type in KCK to run the command. So we now have a quick button called look around. We can also try commands that aren't available through the infrared remote, like play dead or march on the spot. The onboard IMU knows the orientation of Bittle, so if he stumbles or falls over, it will automatically activate a routine to flip him back over and onto his feet. It seems to manage quite well on most flat surfaces. It walks best on surfaces that have a little bit of roughness to them, like wood or concrete, but it struggles on very uneven or loose surfaces like stones, sand or pebbles. Bittle also uses the IMU to balance on uneven surfaces or when pushed or bumped. Petoy also have a number of external sensors available and are working on some additional ones to add functionality to Bittle, like obstacle avoidance and object tracking through a smart camera. So have a look at their website for some of the options available for sensors, or to get your own robot cat or dog. I'll leave a link to them in the video description. Let me know what you think of Bittle in the comment section below, and let me know if you have any project ideas that you'd like to see me try out with him. Thanks for watching, please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.